In this video we're going to make a frames per second counter in the corner of the of the game and we're going to do this with uh, coroutine and string formatting. So uh, right now I set up an armada of Batman so that when I look over here there's nothing and it's pretty fast but when I look over here I'm you know my crappy computer is struggling to load all the Batman. So we want to see uh, that number. So in assets, um, you should have a folder scripts. If not, right click, create folder scripts. Go there. And somewhere in there, you're going to want to make uh, right click, create C sharp script. We'll call it frames per second. And open that up. So first, we need a rectangle that describes where we're going to draw our, our frame frames per second counter. So FPS rect. And when we start, oops, when we start, we're going to make this to a new rectangle. Its X position is going to be, I don't know, 100. Its distance, the X is the distance from the left side of the screen, so just 100 pixels. Distance from the top of the screen will be 100 pixels. The width is, uh, I don't know, 400. It's, this isn't really super important. Um, I'm also actually going to want to make a GUI style. That's just so I can make the font bigger so we can see it. I'm just going to call it style. So style is going to be a new GUI style and style.font size is going to be 30. So first we're going to solve this the easy way. On GUI is just like update. It happens uh, all the time, every frame, but uh, or two or three times a frame, but um, it's for buttons, drawing buttons and drawing pictures on the screen. So we're going to draw, no, we're going to draw a label, which is like text. We're going to give it the FPS rectangle for its position and the content. We're just going to say um, FPS. So just for now, we're going to say FPS is going to be this. Time dot delta time is how long it's been since the last frame. So if we do one second divided by that, that will be the rate. It'll be FPS. So if it's if this is one sixtieth, one divided by that is going to be sixty. So it will be sixty frames. So we, we'll just have a look at that and save this and attach frames per second to your player. And now we press play. So it is, hmm, it's tiny though. Just hold on here. Go back into your code and right here for label, comma, style. You have to give it the style we made so it's big and you can see it. And I saved it. All right, so now there's the FPS. It's changing a lot. It's changing all the time. It is working. So I go here, it's 12, 10, I don't know, but it's every frame recalculating that. Now we only really need to do that every second. So this is where the coroutine comes in. You can delete this part. We're also going to need to make a new coroutine function. And I'll explain this in a sec. Recalculate FPS. OK. So the way, oh, one more thing, in the start, we're going to start it up. And I will explain this, I swear, I swear. Okay, so when we start, we're going to also start the coroutine just once. And the way this is going to work is this is going to happen every second. Okay, so we're starting this coroutine and we're saying, okay, come here. Yes, it's true. It will come here. It will do anything we write here. Once it does this, it will yield like control of the program for one second. It will do nothing. And once this is done, Unity will give it a, roughly a second, like pretty close to that. It will come here and it will come back because while true is always true. And it will do it again. It will wait for a second, come down here, while true, do it again. So we can recalculate the FPS here. So every second, it'll tell us 
what the FPS just was. And that's good enough. So down here we can get rid of this. And save it. Press play. Okay, so the FPS is there and I see every second it's changing now. It's a little more visible. And when we look here, it drops because my computer is just not a happy computer. And if we look at just a few, the frames get a little better, a little worse. Because it only renders what's on the screen, so it can ignore those other Batman. There's also a lot of decimals. So instead of just FPS, we're going to do string format. And you give it this little thing here. Comma. I'll explain again. Just hold on. And I'm not really too fond of how C Sharp, the language we're using is C Sharp. Not too fond of how it does this. Uh, but this means the first argument is going to look like, going to look like 0, 0.0. So it's only going to have one decimal place. This could be two decimals, but we'll just do one. And now that looks a little better. So this is really useful because in your game you will have big calculations and you can't do all of them every frame. Sometimes you only need to do something every 10 seconds and it could be a, a big calculation. Uh, this frames thing is really a tiny one, but in a bigger game you have to do something like this. And coroutines are very useful. This is the really the easiest way to use them.